right, guys, I'm super excited because we're looking for some Funko Ghostbuster pop figures, and I think we found some over there. Hey, old mama, check it out. Oh, they're lighting up like crazy in my PKE meter. Oh, the new figures based off the Ghostbusters Afterlife movie. Yeah, we've got them first because they aren't even released yet. Oh, this is puppetastic. I just love looking at unreleased pop figures, especially when it comes to oh, the baby Steve Pops. Oh, that is so awesome. All right, so let's get started. As you can see, there are five regular pop figures in this set, plus a vehicle, which isn't out just yet, but comes with Trevor, the last Ghostbuster in this lineup. So, all right, let's start with good old Phoebe, which is ugh, Egon's granddaughter here. And it's the next generation of Ghostbusters that are seeking ghosts. Wow, and isn't she cool looking? <laughs> that hairline looks just like a little girl from the uh, movie. So it's pretty cool, and we've even got glasses. Ooh, a frames in them too? Wow, they thought of everything. I don't think I've ever seen frames on a pop figure, but yeah, this one has it. It's complete with a proton pack, which, oh, that is so cool. Wow, a lot of details on Phoebe here, and she looks great. So there's the first kid. Then if we go back to the pile, well, we got the second kid right here, which is Podcast. Oh, that's pretty cool. It looks like he's going to be our race stance of the group. <laughs> he's got the goggles on. Oh, that's so cool. He's got the remote control in his hands, which, uh, yeah, I guess there's buttons all over that. That's pretty neat. He doesn't have a proton pack on, but that's all right, because oh, Phoebe makes up for that, right? Right, yeah, I'm going to bust some ghosts. Yeah, me too. <laughs> all right, so there's our team. And then if we go back to the pile, ooh, we've got our third kid right here, which is Lucky. So let's get out this girl here. And all right, if we look at this figure, ooh, man, she's got one of those PKE meters, just like I was using. Oh, man, so cool. So yeah, she's got one. And oh, man, looks like she's looking for some ghosts and she's found one. Ooh, so creepy. She's got a proton pack on the back as well. So it looks like Podcast here is the only one that doesn't have one. Oh, man, he's the odd man out. <laughs> All right, so there's three of the kids from the movie coming at you. And then next up, we've got, oh man, it's the teacher guy, Mr. Gruberson, 928. So let's open this guy up here and just check out this guy. <laughs> oh man, he looks great. He looks just like the guy from the movie. And hey, wait a minute. It's the same guy that plays Ant-Man, Paul Rudd. Yep, that's right, Puppet Steve. I'm Ant-Man and I'm also in the Ghostbusters movie. Hey, wait a minute. If you're here, then who am I? Oh, yeah, that's weird. Oh, man. Well, instead of answering that question, I'll just leave. Oh, man, weird. <laughs> the space-time continuum is blowing up. Ah, oh, crazy, but look at that. Oh, man, he's got that 5 o'clock shadow. Ah, oh, crazy. And he's got a ghost trap in his hand. Oh, that's nice. And he's got that cool shirt on, making him all Goober Gruberson. <laughs> and I know in this movie, he helps out the kids a lot. So there they are, all four characters to make up the new Ghostbusters. Well, excluding this guy right here, good old Trevor, which is supposed to come with the car. And like I said, he's not out yet, so I don't have him. But what I do have is ba -ba -ba, one of the ghosts that they go after. Good old Muncher. Oh, this is so cool. One of the new ghosts from the movie. Ah, oh, look at him. He's so cool. Oh, he's all translucent. Ah, look at him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I just love it. It looks like he's putting all kinds of crazy parts inside of his body. Wow, check that out. Boy, these pop figures are getting very sophisticated. Look at that. He's got little parts inside of his body coming out of his body. I love that look on his face. He's like, hey, look at me. I've got all kinds of parts on me. And then, of course, with that, bam, bam, we've got our five figures making up this awesome lineup of figures based on the new movie. Now, if you want even more figures, well, we've got them, including this one right here. Bam, bam, an FYE exclusive that glows in the dark. Now that is what I'm talking about of good old Muncher. And I'm bringing it to you first on the Puppet Steve Show. So look at this. Ooh, we get two Munchers and they look pretty much the same. Looks like this one's a little bit different from this guy in the uh, paint department. But I wanna see this guy glow in the dark. So let's see, let's turn off all the lights here. And then we'll get out my black light to really get things going. And let's see, let's get them all nice and charged up here. In three, two, one, bam! Ah, oh, cool. Well, <laughs> he doesn't glow up too much, but uh, as you can see, ooh, he's like a bluish color. I guess it's glowing for this cool exclusive. All right, so with that, that gives us a ton of items to collect for this Ghostbusters Afterlife set. 
And if you want even more awesome Funko items, well, don't forget that they made this awesome piece of the Ghostbusters firehouse. I think it was last year. This piece is awesome on its own. So yeah, it looks just like the uh, firehouse from the first couple of movies. Oh, I just love that. And of course, if you want even more awesome Ghostbusters goodness, well, check it out. We've got some more unreleased figures. Pa-pam! Oh, man, the little mini Stay Puffs. Oh, just look at all these cute little guys. <laughs> We've got the whole set of these to look at, too. So let's dig in. Oh, isn't he so cute and destructive? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. So it looks like he's got matchsticks in his hands. Nice. And one of them's catching himself on fire. Boosh. And he goes up in an inferno. Oh, what a crazy little stay path. But look at the little expression on his face. He's got translucent flames all over his body, making him one awesome looking stay puff to start off this review. All right, so let's go back to the figure paw here and get another regular figure. And next up is Mini Stay Puffed with Cocktail Umbrella. Oh, that's funny. So this little mini guy looks super cool with that little umbrella that they can pull out of those drinks. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> He's got the cool little hat on top. And I love that these guys come with bases as well so they don't fall over too easy. All right, so let's check out this next one. Mini Stay Puffed with a lighter. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, check this guy out. I can't wait to see this movie. All these things look like they're so mischievous. Wow, I love the expression on his face because he's got that big old lighter with a little flame coming out of it. Oh, so cool. And that's probably how he got set on fire with this little guy right here. He's like, hey, come here. Boom. <laughs> and he's all in flame. So this is a really cool collection so far. There's three that we've got right there. And then we'll have this fourth little guy right here, which is Mini Stay Puffed with a oh, little graham cracker. Oh, no, that's a cool idea. I gotta say, the details on these guys are amazing. This looks like a real graham cracker. This looks like a real big lighter that he's holding. <laughs> oh, man, the details are great. He's got the little holes in that graham cracker there. And I just love these faces. Oh, look at that guy. He's like, <laughs> I'm gonna eat it. I'm num, 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 num. <laughs> he's holding his belly. He's like, yeah, my belly's full, so... Yeah, another Stay Puff coming at ya, which gives us four of these awesome little Stay Puff dudes in this regular set of figures. Now, unfortunately, well, there's one more that we didn't get. As you can see on the back of the box, it's Mini Stay Puffed with the Cappuccino Cup. Oh, look at that guy. He's just dunking himself into some cocoa. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. But unfortunately, that guy doesn't come out until December. So, uh, yeah, these are the only ones we get to preview this time which is four out of five, which isn't too shabby. So there they are, a whole, almost the whole set coming at you. All right, so if you want any of these Ghostbuster items for yourself, well, make sure you check around Thanksgiving because that's when they're going to be released at places like Walmart, Target, oh, well, everywhere that pop figures are sold.